It is October 17, 2016. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. Wow. Um, the news today is very, very, very alarming. Um, I'm gonna, I, I have all RT links here um, for more than one reason. For one, they had all the links to what I need to tell you. And for two, they are part of this news. So, all right, first of all, um, yesterday... Uh, there was files going around the WikiLeaks insurance files. Apparently, uh, WikiLeaks also um, tweeted a code, all right? Um, and it sparked rumors of Julian Assange's death. Um, as here, an online frenzy has erupted after three coded tweets from WikiLeaks sparked bizarre rumors that the organization's controversial co-founder, Julian Assange, has died. On Sunday... WikiLeaks posted three tweets containing intriguing references to John Kerry, Ecuador, and the UK Foreign Office alongside a 64-character code. Okay, now, um, there were torrent files that also went out yesterday, which are, are the WikiLeaks insurance files. Okay, now, here's the deal. We don't know what's going on with Julian right now. All we do know is that his internet access has been cut. This has apparently been cut by quote-unquote state actors. Okay? Very, very important. Now, the next bit of news. UK bank to close RT accounts, long live freedom of speech. Okay? The UK Bank Servicing RC has given RT, sorry, has given notice that it will close the broadcaster's accounts without explanation. The UK government has denied any involvement in the bank's decision. They closed our accounts in Britain, all of them, decision not to be discussed. Long live freedom of speech, RT's editor in chief, Margarita Simonian, uh, said on her Twitter account. She added that RT's assets were not frozen and could still be withdrawn from the accounts. The National Westminster Bank has informed RT UK that it will no longer have the broadcaster among its clients. The bank provided no explanation for the decision. Okay, I will give the links to these in the uh, description. Now, abroad is not the only... Uh, reporters the only news that is under attack we have the same thing going on here okay this is one of two people that have gotten some very very ser serious charges leveled against them uh, for reporting on the Dakota pipeline protest okay um, democracy now journalist we all know uh, was charged and also there is a another lady that was charged at the names not on the top of my head, but but anyway, oh here it is. Uh, Shailene Woodley, I think, is the other one, um, and and it's an, it's insane the charges that they are facing, um, folks. This is this is on, this is on. They are going after anybody that does not report their narrative. I um I, I really don't know. I really don't know what the rest of the day is going to hold, to be honest. So, be prepared, be ready, keep your eyes open.